Okay, uh, so as we said earlier that in addition to the regular cal calculations, um, Tableau also has the table calculations. So table calculation is based on the return result in a view that in Tableau. So that is calculated in Tableau. Uh, so that the views mean that so when you have a line chart or the bar chart, um, you have some markers, dimensions, measures on this sheet. And we're just using the data on the exactly on the count sheet to do some very simple calculations. And when you're adding or removing the fields, so you're changing, you are changing the field site, which will re, uh, in turn to change the result of the field calculation. Uh, we also have the quick table calculation. So that is something that is one quick option that can be applied to the current view. And we can also save the result of the quick table calculations, all the table calculations um, in a calculated field. So this is how the how it look like uh, when we have the uh, table calculations. So when you have the views on the uh, when you have the field appeals on the view, so you can just right click and you can bring the table calculations. And here you can see those are the most common table calculations. Depending on the dimensions or the measures that you brought to the view, so you can run different type of the table calculations. You can run the table calculations in the calculated field, in the field calculations. So just switch to the table calculations, and you can run those um, uh, the same calculations. So you can see rank um, is both here. So when we use table calculations, it is very important to understand the scope and directions. So there are several ways of the scope and directions. So remember that in the view, so you may have the different um, pans, okay? And you have different uh, rows or columns. And uh, so the in Entire view is what they call the table. So that is what they call the table. And you may have different pans, for example, that different category of the shows. So that is what they call the pan. Okay, and you can have subcategories, etc. And the cells are the basic units that in a view. So that's that is a single cell. So this is one pan, and this is one single cell. You can also specify the dimensions, okay? So in this case, for example, I'm using a table calculation and I'm not using the pans or the cells or the tables. Instead, I'm using the specific, I can specify the dimensions here and you can choose the dimensions that you brought in a view, okay? And so remember that the selected dimensions are called the addressing field so the selected dimensions are called the addressing field. So in this case, um, the categories are the addressing field and the unselected dimensions are called partitioning field. So that will determine how to group the calculation. And also the addressing field will determine the direction of the calculation. OK, so let's see an example that in Tableau. OK, so here let's see. Uh, we want to calculate uh, the price paid, okay, uh, for different category. So let's uh, bring the sales, okay. Uh, so that's in the measures, okay. So we have the price paid in different category. Uh, we also want to bring the values so that we want to make the, um, the view a little bit complicated. So let's bring the state here. Let's first fill out the state. Uh, so we are using, we are not using the, all the states. So let's use California, DC, uh, Florida. Georgia and also North Carolina. Okay, and let's also bring those into this uh, view. Okay, so here we have the dimensions. So those are the uh, state and also categories. 
and we have this measures, which is price. OK, uh, so now we have this entire table that divided by the group, subgroups and also venues. And we have the pen, so the first pen and also the second pen. OK, so to run the table, ca table calculations, you can just click the measure. And here you can run those uh, table calculations. OK, so let's say we want to calculate the percentage of the total. So now you can see that instead of showing the total price, and we are looking at the percentage of the total. OK. Uh, if you go to calculated field, and also you can uh, use those table calculations here that are available for the calculated field. So you can see there are also some different calculations available here. OK, so let's go back to the table, quick table calculation. OK, so that to, to better understand um, the calculations, so I'm going to drag the numbers into labels. OK. Uh, and also, I'm going to use the entire view. OK, and let's also bring the total for the rows uh, and also the total uh, for the columns. OK, uh, so here we can see we have table calculations and we have grand total for each row and also each column. So now if I right click this table calculation and I can edit the calculation. OK, so hopefully this will be clear that what does the dimension and our scope means. So now we enable the calculation of distance. So if I choose table down and we can see that um, for each column, the total is 100 percent. OK, so that means that percentage for each state, we are calculating the percentage that in this different category. OK, so that is cross the table down. If I use table cross, now we can see that now we are calculating the base uh, divided by the states. So for each categories, so California uh, took more than 50% of the price being sold and also followed by Florida and next DC, Georgia and also North Carolina. Okay, and if I choose table, so now the entire uh, dimensions will work together to divide the data. So that means that the shows in this subcategory in this state took this percent of the entire shows. OK, and the, only the grand total of some of the rows and also columns will be 100 percent. OK, and if you use pen down, OK, and you can see that uh, within each pen, OK, that is 100 percent. And if you choose pen, so that is across each pen, that will be 100 percent. OK, and if you are using the cell, so cell is a basic unit, OK, now within each cell, we divide by the using the cell to divide itself, so of course that is 100%. And now if we choose the specific dimensions, okay, remember that selected dimensions will be used as the addressing field to determine the direction. Okay, so selected will determine the directions and unselected will be the partition field. Okay, so in this case we can see that um, now we are calculate that for each single state, okay, so percentage of within each category. Okay, so it is similar to the table down. Okay, and now if we choose state, okay, and now we can see that we are calculating for each state, and here unselected will be the partitioning field, so in this case, group and also subgroups will be the partitioning field. And if we just choose a group, OK, so in this case, the others like the the subcategory and also the state will be the partitioning field. 